from pre second for, from pre primary up until tertiary level education got affected as well. For context, just to know how ser serious that is, 39.4 million is more than the popul entire population of Canada at 37.7 million, and that of Australia at 25.2. So it really is a big and major problem and something that AMOYE is committed to addressing in its own way, um, which is why we're doing one of, this is one of the expressions and of, of our vision. Our goal is to ensure that we can provide quality education at scale so that everyone, irrespective of their location, social class or access um, can access uh, can have, 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 have access to quality resource that would ensure that they can develop their potential and be that be the best that they can possibly be. Today in this session, we're going to learn a lot about Amoye, what we do, how we do what we do, and of course, why we why what what our vision is. Um, of course, a lot of us have interacted with the platform already. Um, we will we'll have enough time to take our questions, just like um, Abigail mentioned. Um, and what you've all been waiting for while we're here today, we're going to learn extensively about the franchise program, how it works, uh, the schedule, what is going to happen over the next eight weeks. Um, also some features of our LMS that is, that is particularly custom made, of course, that would apply to you on this journey and how you can put them to use. Uh, we're going to discuss fees as well. I'm sure some of us are waiting to hear about that. And we're going to end with question and answers. Um, I won't spend too much time on this. So some housekeeping rules. Um, Abigail mentioned that earlier on, if you have questions, we will not be taking live questions during the session. So please go to the link provided on screen, slido.com, sli.do, and use the event code 26171. You can drop all of your questions there. All of the questions will be attended to. For our viewers on YouTube as well, please drop your questions on the chat. We have our, our team available to pick them up and share with us. You can use the event code or um, when a member of the team definitely will pick your questions anywhere you drop them so that everyone is attended to and we can address and take this forward. So onto the beef, onto what, why we are here. I'm going to start off by showing a video that some, that a three minute video that explains um, our vision and what we do at AMOE. Then I'll move on to explaining in detail. Ever wondered why our ancestors thought the best way to teach was to split knowledge into subjects, build schools everywhere, and organize them by age or income? You are all expected to learn from the same ancient curricula, had to spend a fortune buying books about the same topics, would only teach if you dedicated your life to it, and had to be either rich, smart, or fortunate to reach the highest levels of formal education. No wonder that most of the world today is uneducated. Take Africa, where there are less than a thousand universities, but 1.2 billion people. And 40% of school children do not meet basic learning standards. You don't need to be a genius to see the problem. With so many needing access to quality education and our current approach struggling, we ask, how would we educate if we could start again? Imagine one giant school ecosystem where schools everywhere are welcome. A planet-wide learning platform where anyone can be a student and anyone who knows their stuff can teach or author content. A system where knowledge does not exist in isolation but is a part of a constantly evolving network. Welcome to Amoye, the future of education. It's a totally new approach to learning. Want to know how it works? Look silicon up in books and find the boring stuff. The 14th element discovered by J.J. Basilius. But in this age, we can learn so much more. Ever heard of the amorphous monocrystalline semiconductor world? The Korean happy hard cartoon? The world famous journal? And forget Basilius. What of Kilby and of Noyce? Of Justin Brenner, star of HBO's Silicon Valley? Are we even talking chips at all? Discover the grease that powers the world's fastest cars, the lenses helping people to see, implants inspiring people to live, and all those other crazy connections. The internet has transformed how we learn, and MOYA combines concepts with real-world entities to make it easy for anyone to learn anything about everything. Our One Book technology is a single network of knowledge concepts, real-world entities, and learning resources replicating how we as humans learn in the real world. And our 1CV technology uses gamification concepts to track your competencies. 
ensuring you get noticed for your hard work. It doesn't matter if you're born in Oxford or Casablanca, Tokyo, Melbourne, Rio, Johannesburg, Boston, or Lagos. With Amoye, the world becomes your classroom. Bringing every student unlimited access to the best courses and resources. As we take the next step into the fully educated world of the future. Thanks everyone and welcome to the world of Amoye. Um, Amoye is... <laughs> that Amoye, at Amoye we are an edtech and talent development company and just like you've learned in the video our mission is to enable the future of education talent development and talent placement in Africa and um, we do this in different ways um, the platform as a whole which as you, you discover along this journey is open to students at all levels right from primary up until industry professionals and it is designed to facilitate learning both online and in the classroom. Um, the platform is powered by a knowledge graph and um, the goal is to ensure that students irrespective of their class like I explained earlier on have access to quality information at scale so that we can address the deficits in terms of how people learn but also how people access quality resources um, that has plagued our world um, before now. What is happening um, at the moment only shows how much work we have to do. And I welcome everyone on board for taking up this challenge to join us to build the future that we so dream about and together, um, of course, make, make the world, uh, make, make Africa as a continent um, even, even better, but also, also for us as tutors, of course, get reward for doing what we love to do, do best. Some of the things we do on, on the platform currently is of course facilitate learning, basically moving away from the traditional, very factual learning to helping people find real life applications to what, what they are learning. So it's of course, it's, 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 it's preparing them for the, for the new world post COVID or I'll say the 21st century. Um, also some of the things we do to encourage learners or ensure that people who are acquiring skills on the platform basically have expression is to organize internship programs um, one of them is the currently ongoing the data science internship where participants or interns have a chance to learn over a period of time and then of course end up in a job at the end of the day. We also have one that would interest you. Every month we have a STEM plus challenge where secondary schools, where students basically across the world up until recent high school graduates have access to win prizes by taking some of the courses we have and testing their knowledge. Um, and something else we have, features on the platform that allows you to socialize. So think of it as a social learning platform. Um, you can post, like, and share, like you do on some of the most um, popular platforms you find around. And also connect, follow, and um, get, get updates on happenings and events around schools. I won't bore you with all of this. A lot of this we're going to learn further down the line. Um, this is what I'm sure a lot of us have been waiting for. So what really is the AMOE Tutor Franchise Program? The program is designed to enable private tutors create successful tutoring business backed by world-class technology. Um, of course, the impact of, of, of COVID means, just like we've been rethinking, how can we fix education? At this time, it, it, become, it became even more urgent that of course, new innovative ways are adopted to address this problem. And um, some of our technology basically around our one book technology and our one school basically is, is, is tailor fit basically to address, address this problem, which we all will have access to along the way. The franchise program is open to school teachers, aspiring teachers and freelance tutors um, across the way. Some of the things we will do is to help you of course, build your competence like we have on the platform. There'll be an array of resources along this way um, to, to continue to do all, all of these things and address the problem currently plaguing the world. So I'll go into more specific details now. So how does this work? As a franchise tutor on the platform, Amoye Tutor basically is the umbrella business name. So we are all still a member, of course. Um, we're part of the, of the bigger Amoye, Amoye, Amoye brand, of course, which will continue to grow and of course will continue to get support along the way. As a tutor under, the, under this big umbrella brand, 
you will function as an independent merchant. So think of it as having an independent school like you would have on your own without the barriers to acquiring some space or running around to, of course, without the barriers to, to, to getting started here right away along this journey. By the time we're joined, uh, by, at the end of the two months, free training that we put together, everyone will have their school and of course be able to bring up, up on, bring on students to access quality resource um, without being, 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 being bothered with the whole complexity of technology and um, some of the barriers would have, would have had if we are setting up a physical school. Um, it's also open to everyone, of course, as a tutor, you can decide what subjects you want to teach and what level of students you will be addressing. So of course, we believe that all of this is informed by your competence. So what's, what's, what's the level you teach currently, what you know, and uh, what you're excited about. Um, so of course, the, the platform is, is, is suitable for students at primary, secondary, university, and professionals. Everyone is definitely welcome. Something important as well is tutors will solicit their students, and I'm going to explain this in detail further down the line. Um, and we expect that as much as possible, students um, are coming from around your area, around, around where, you, where, where you reside. So if you have a chance to have a blended learning experience. So like I said at the beginning, you can have a fully online experience with your students or a blended session where your students learn a thing or two online, and you then have a physical session or interaction where you can further exp explain and close um, the learning experience that is going on. In controlling your students, you have full access to who, has, who is going to access the resource that you provide or the vast array um, of free resources that will be available for you um, via the ever-growing one book technology that we're building. And the rates, every tutor has a chance to determine, so you decide what the fees or what you will charge based on, of course, your students, your, your location. So a lot of the things that apply currently to how you charge or how, 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 how parents pay for your services, all of that has been considered and you, 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 have, you have the liberty um, to choose so that, you, of course, that, that's not a barrier to getting students that you will work with um, al along, along the way. So here are details about the training schedule. The program is going to run for eight weeks. Of course, we're in the first week already, which is the orientation week, um, starting, which started on Monday and will run um, down till the 25th of September. Um, some of the things we would support, many of us have joined the WhatsApp community. So I encourage those who are here to, to connect. It's, it's a place where you can get quick answers and also um, collaborate and share, of course, the best practices with other members of the community. It is strongly advised that you connect with the community so that, of course, call, alongside the AMOE team that is always on hand to provide support where and when you need it, you can also um, collaborate and meet um, your peers to, of course, create resources together or, of course, rub ideas to ensure that of, um, the problem we're collectively trying to address, definitely we, we can make headway with that. We're also going to have periodic webinars this week. Um, on average, once every two weeks or thereabout, just to close the learning gaps that would happen. So once you've interacted or learned, learned a thing or two, we'll have interactions like these to be able to add some, more, more, some, some extra layer to what you've learned to be sure that we are ready um, at the end of the first two months training. A lot of emails definitely, communication would also go out via email and um, on the platform for those who have created an account. Again, if you haven't, it's important. If you do not have an account, then you, of course you cannot, you cannot create or own a school. So please um, let's, let's get that done. And if you, if you have questions along the way, um, like um, Abidel mentioned earlier on, um, something I think I should mention here is for those who have had some bit of issue with um, the roles, um, don't, don't worry about that. The roles you have currently is fine. By the time, at the end of the two months period, when, when your school is being set up, the, the roles and privileges you have on the platform definitely will be reviewed and changed to fit your need and purpose. So do not stress over the roles you have currently. That process is also being simplified. So of course, along the way, all of this will become clearer. It's only the first week, so don't, 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 don't stress out already. There's a whole lot to learn and there's a whole lot to discover. And we're excited to have you on board. Um, what we believe at Aboye is something called concept-based learning, where students learn big ideas around um, not necessarily facts, what has happened or what is, what, what is situated in time, big ideas about how, 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 in, how in knowledge or information is connected, how, how, how they, they know these things, how, how they can understand 
and uh, transfer this knowledge across different domains. As, ed as educators, one of our biggest goals is not to create students who basically go back in history to recreate what has been done or just um, have a stack of knowledge. What we always desire is to have students who can apply what they've been taught in new and more creative ways, expressing what they learn and um, of course being innovative ar ar around it. And education as it is, is not about um, knowing too much. It's about being able to expand what you know because you can you can synthesize the knowledge you've acquired and apply it in, in, in a whole innovative ways. And on, at Hamoye, we, we, we are championing the concept-based learning that definitely supports this, this way of, of, of teaching and learning. But we have trainings along this track that um, for many of us who are not very familiar with them will definitely get you on board and um, you get conversant and comfortable around a lot of these concepts. Um, currently, like I said, we said something about a knowledge graph. The platform is, powered, um, is, 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 is sitting on, on top of the largest knowledge graph and we have concept as, uh, as much as up, up to about 80 million that you can work with. Um, in subsequent trainings, definitely you'll have access to all of those things. Also project-based le project learning. And by project-based learning, knowledge is not given. You do not transfer knowledge. Knowledge is formed. And if you look at how our brain works, students are able to, uh, I, 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 for, 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 for knowledge or information to stick, students are required to create this knowledge using their own experiences or their realities as again telling them what it is and all they have to do is just remember and regurgitate what they've been told. Of course, all of those concepts do not work or apply in the current state of affairs in terms of, of course, what the world of work today requires. So the platform definitely is preparing students for the world of work post COVID, even before COVID started. But also very important for every one of us as tutors, it means we're acquiring skills and competence to thrive in this age and time. Teaching and learning is never going to be the same again. The world is changed and it's not going to go back to what we need to do. So we need, we, we need, we, we need new knowledge. So, so one thing that stands in the way of, of course, change or, 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 or transforming is what we used to know. It's important that we're able to acquire this new skill. And of course, being a part of this, of, of this franchise program will not only expose you to knowledge and best practices that will prepare you for the world, um, of course, for the new world that is evolving, but also acquire skills around technology, best practices that would ensure you thrive within this time. So we have created resources around marketing techniques that would ensure you have success within this period and also teaching with technology. How can we engage students and ensure um, that learning actually occurs, even if we have a physical session using, using technology or we are teaching, we're, we're, we're facilitating a blended learning session. Um, we're doing all of that. And what, 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 how would all of, all of this be possible without the Amoye platform? All of these features, well, we, we had to re rethink education as a whole, and all of these features have been considered to redesign all that you've seen. And you learn about a lot of this um, along, the, along the way at, at some of the courses and trainings that you would have access to. On this journey, Educators or tutors would have access to an array of things as an entity, as Amoye, the larger umbrella that everyone, of course, is, 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 is under, um, would have access and benefit from the general marketing that Amoye is going to embark on. So, of course, think of it as brand recognition. You would want to speak to your parents that you're teaching using technology, and um, students would have access to a world-class platform um, called Amoye. Um, that would enable them, of course, I, I don't want to go ahead and talk about some of the features that we need to talk ahead and, talk, and mention al along the way that would enable them to do some of or address some of the gaps or challenges that they've encountered in the past in smart and, and, and more innovative ways. So we'll continue to promote the platform. And of course, from this general platform marketing that we're, um, we're, we're, we're doing, of course, you have a, a chance to, of course, leverage on that by the time you're speaking to a parent, there's the brand recognition that would help you close those conversations and get students to access the resources and courses that you would you would you you would be creating them um, along the way of course the ones that are available um in the from um by by the reason of the one book technology that we're developing also you definitely we're going to provide a learning platform that we've all, all where we're already interacting with it's a social learning platform that allows you to create an array of things a lot of the things that you require at this time has been thought of and is being as has, has been plugged into what you see at the moment, of course, it's at hamoye.com, H-A-M-O-Y-E. 
we would also be able to receive payment from your students. So parents can, pre as in, of course, pay for your course before students have access to it. But all of that will definitely will be figured out in, in terms of what, 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 what means you. But then you can support the paid, um, the prepaid or postpaid service. You have total control over your own school and how students interact. And um, of course, parents um, work with the resources um, that you would have access, that you would have created. And of course, it's 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 exclusively um, it's a closed environment. Only students who should have access to your resource or who you who you granted access to it will will be able to 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 use them. Also, I spoke about some of the research based and curriculum activities that we we embark on at Amoye. Um, we're going to continue to develop competence of the entire um, community along the way to research driven curriculum act and development activities. Um, that I mentioned earlier on. So there's going to be ongoing work through periodic trainings, sharing tips and tricks and resources um, along this way. There's something we also have, which we call the One Book Technology. It's an evergreen book that has everything you want to know about everything in a connected graph. Um, so the library of online resources and you will have access to it. At the moment, by the time, if you sign into your account and search, search for anything, of course, you will begin to plug into um, the, 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 the one book technology or, or, or also just with the accounts you have before you set up your school and you see how it, this, this branches off into a lot of other concepts to see how interconnected knowledge really can be um, by, the, by, by connecting concepts like um, we have on the platform. Also, I mentioned earlier that we're going to have periodic um, and ongoing training. So of course, this is not a one go. We're not, going, we're not starting off with you and dumping you along the way. We will give you all the support to for you to thrive and grow on this and ensure, of course, we can um, bridge the deficit in terms of the learning gaps in the country. And quality education is, uh, is available at scale, irrespective of the location and status of the key that we need to access. So anyone far, far as far as Borno, down to Elisha, down to Kano, in, 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 in Ikorodu, everywhere, basically have access to world-class resource to basically thrive and be the best that they can. Something we've also put or considered into this is something we call the group discount. So think of it as, as having um, some form of health insurance for all members of the, of the group. So, and of course, this can come in areas. We'll continue to evolve this. All of this is still being, is, 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 has been designed definitely, but based on the needs and gaps we identify from our interactions, we can continue to evolve this. But then those are some of the benefits that we're going to enjoy. Um, as a result of being part of this large community that we definitely will com continue to grow. Something we are happy to have as well is something called, which we use by, gamica by gamification, is competency tracking. So for all of the activities and traces your students leave on the site, all of this is being tracked. At the end, you can see what your students are learning. And of course, you can analyze that to see where the gaps are, what, 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 what you can do to uh, how well your resource or your course is working. Um, if the students are learning or not. So the competence and the, of course, the concepts that the students are learning are being tracked and you would have access um, to all of this to interact and also make, in, make informed decision along the way. I'm going to move on to the features of the platform just to run us through it. I know some of us have seen this already, but I will, I, I, I will make, take assumptions and just, um, um, I'll, I'll go into further detail and explain how it works so we have a clearer view of how, how we can use this to our best benefit. So I explained earlier on um, we, we features of the platform, we're able to set up our own private school, a space that has our own students. Of course, we will be able to control who has access to our resources and um, how our students interact and access our own school within the larger Amoye community. Also, you will be able to create rich multimedia resources where you can add resource, external resources, a link and reference um, articles, um, link to external videos and things that will definitely br um, bring, bring some of the things you're teaching to life. But at the very core of it, um, we, we, we also encourage um, text-based resources, which is, which is if you've looked at the platform or explored some of the, some of the courses we have, so in, to ensure that experiences in irrespective also of the quality of internet, there's a greater chance of um, having the best of experience for students and they, the, 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 the perhaps data intensive resources can be secondary and um, on demand, the students can click and then ex further explore how all of that works. There's something we have also called groups and groups allow you to group multiple students together to start learning within the, with, at, the, at the set time 
and exit at a at fixed time. So think of it as students should access your resource at the start of the month and up until the end of the month. So you have the liberty to set this is the duration students should access this particular resource and how they should access it. So you can create multiple groups. You can create an endless group um, for, your, for, your, for your courses or just have um, closed groups and, or, or a single group for, more, for multiple students. You also can, you also will be able to name your courses. And of course, the naming of the school definitely will take your, your, your persona, your name, and it will be easy for people to find you. We also have video call available on the platform. So you'll be able to offer video, a live video sessions without the constraints experienced in some of the popular platforms currently. So think of it as your sessions can run for an hour or for as little as 10, 30 minutes or up, up, up to four hours without being worried about, of course, the additional cost or having to pay extra or having a premium account to access all of these things. All of this is coming at no cost as in to get started. At the, we'll get into all of that detail later on. So um, some of the first three features is, of course, being able to create your private school, being able to have rich multimedia resources, and being able to create video calls. Um, being, being able to, of course, activate video calls based on the preference of your class or the students you are interacting with. I'm sure this one will excite you. There's something we have that allows you automatically grade students. So think of it as having 100 students within a particular group and they're taking the same quiz. So the platform automatically grades the quiz you've set. And once they are done, of course, without waiting uh, immediately, you, they can see, if you can see the results if, if you so allow. Or of course, you have access to how they performed. And all of this is already built into it. Something also that is funny is you have access to setting your mathematical formulas and some of those equations that, that used to be a problem in the past. So you'll have a chance to format and students basically see in proper light how this um, the, 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 the concept you're trying to communicate and are able to interact and learn appropriately um, during their interaction. There's also the social learning features that, like I said, students like to play. And by play, it's more at that age, of course, a lot of learning happens by play. Um, so students are able to post discussions of course perhaps when you are teaching they can they can they can share or discuss around some of the concept and the things even though they're not physically present uh, you are able to of course foster communication they can share and and like and of course do a lot of um, the common things you'd find um, in, in social learning platforms um, email notifications are also available and comments and, rate, and, and ratings parents also um, will get periodic updates um, so you do not have to worry yourself about periodically um, sending notifications to parents. So based on the progress of the students, students, uh, parents can see, oh, this is what my students have learned over this period. And of course, this is the course they are interacting with. So it gives them, it, it gives them a, a clearer sense of what is happening. And all of this has been automatically built into the platform. Also, there will be competencies tracked, like I said earlier on, and certificates achieved, of course, that the students would have access to sent to the parents once all of that is completed. There's a rating system, and the rating system allows, of course, students and parents um, rate the course that you've, um, perhaps what the courses that they've completed, and um, they can give a five, it's a five-star rating system that they, that they can drop their comments, and this can also foster and attract more parents and students on the, on the general platform to pick up interest and, of course, um, be drawn to the resource you have. So this is one particular feature um, that we, well, I would encourage that we look, we, we look at. I, I spoke about the payment integration already. So yes, payment is fully integrated into the platform. Um, you can restrict access to lessons until students, uh, until, until students' payment is received. So students can only access resources only after they've paid. And of course, receive payments directly in your bank account. So once, once payments are made, of course, it, 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 get, it gets to your bank account. All of that definitely has, is, is available on the platform. Um, because we're going to be creating um, courses for different things, um, at times, some, some of the courses you want to create, you might want to tweak it slightly for a different audience. So think of it as you've created one, you have a slightly different angle you want to put, or you, want, you, you have a different group and you would want to uh, name it slightly. Uh, we've talked about that before now, and what we've done is give you the ability to clone existing lessons or courses that you've created. So as again, starting from ground up, you can make a copy of an existing of, of, of um, you can make a copy of an existing course that you have. Um, either make changes or update or delete certain things you want and make it uh, available for additional students. 
students or use in the best way that works for you on teaching students and ensuring that you can design the best learning experiences for them um, based on their unique needs. Community support. Some of us have experienced our communities already on WhatsApp. Um, again, if you're not part of it yet and you're on the call, I strongly encourage that you join. Um, you will definitely continue to get support um, via the channel. Um, we will communicate via emails. Um, there's also the ticket system on the AMOE platform. If you, if you visit the website in the menu bar, in the, main, in the vertical menu to your right, you'll find the ticket system where you can also communicate with the team and get support to all the questions um, you might have along the way in terms of getting students on board and um, creating resources that, that like we would have. Um, I spoke about issuing certificates already. So you can have transcripts and certificates available to your students. All of that is, uh, is automatically built in. So once they are done, and of course, certain competencies is achieved, of course, and by, by, by achieving these competencies, it means they've, they've completed certain quizzes or assessments that is set by you or available in some of the available uh, existing resources in the one book technology. And once, of course, they meet a certain um, grade level, certificates are automatically issued. It's available in their personal accounts and students and parents alike have access to all of these things. And um, like I said at the very beginning, the teaching and learning definitely is not never going to be the same again. This particular opportunity definitely helps you build your profile as well um because it, it definitely will be available and searchable across the social media platform so of course how you are, are having an account the resources and some of the things you have is searchable online so people can search um i'll say physics or blah whatever whatever i'll, I'll say a professional course that you've created is might be might be searchable online people find and, and are drawn to your account of course there's a lot more visibility for you and uh, that a lot, a lot more is possible as a result as a result of that. So you grow your personal profile as a tutor, and of course you are building requisite skill that would ensure you can try um, in the new world order. Okay, so we're getting to the end um, of the presentation shortly, and I'm going to start discussing the franchise fees and um, the rates um, at the moment. Um, again, if you have questions based on what I've said, please do not forget to go to Slido, like um, we said earlier on, to drop your questions. And we're going to get to the questions and answer se section very soon. And we're going to address all of the questions we have on Slido. If you're watching us on YouTube, do not forget, you can drop your questions right there. My colleagues are definitely there to uh, help, help you around it. Or you can also go to Slido to drop your questions. Um, so all of these amazing things I, I, I've discussed is available at no fee to teachers to get started with. So you're not going to pay an upfront fee thinking about how to get a particular space or get technology and um, to get started. So which is, of course, um, um, of course, the, the fee is going to come, which I'm going to explain in a bit. Typically, franchise charge set of fee and annual fees, like you'll find in almost all, all franchises, you'll, you'll pay if we are beginning to get started, but all of that is, 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 not, is not applicable in this day. Right, right by the time you're able to complete the learning and we're able to verify, which is why all of the requirements we requested at the beginning is very important. Please, we expect that you take them seriously um, from the character references we, requ we requested um, down to the police record um, self-assess, self-declaration, self please take them seriously. All of these things basically build on each other to ensure that everyone down to you and the students on the platform are protected. We, are, we, we, we take responsibility for this and we take that very, very, very seriously. Um, similarly, Amoye will not be paying salaries to franchise tutors. So teachers will earn from the tuition paid by students. And of course, of, of this, this community will continue to grow. However, our is going to deduct 25% of the fees charged by tutors and the fees, 25% fee deducted is going to offset or cover the cost of the entire technology that we're providing. Of course, franchise marketing, like I said, where parents are like and all of the brand and promotions that we're going to continue to do online and offline to attract more students and, par and parents to the platform and ongoing tutor training. Trainings will definitely happen at, peri at period at, at different intervals along the journey within the initial two months period that's completely free or even beyond that. Um, we'll continue to market and um, continue to provide the stable technology so you do not have to worry about technology. You focus on attracting students within your network, existing network, 
um, who, who perhaps you might not have access to physically, but also if you have access, access to them physically, um, you can still connect with them and have a blended learning experience, a completely in-class experience or a totally online experience. So all of this basically is built to meet your need and fit your use case. Um, I think this is the end of the presentation. Um, if you've not dropped your question, I again encourage that you go to Slido to drop the questions you might have. And um, we will be taking the questions now over say, the next 15 minutes to answer your questions. Thank you. Amazing, Shola. Thank you so much for that brilliant exposition about the AMOE franchise program. You know, I'm really excited about what the future holds, especially the contributions of our tutors and the array of resources that will be made available for our tutors, even their engagements currently on Zoom. Their premeditated questions on YouTube has been shattering glass ceilings. So we have some really interesting questions here. The first on my list is from Elijah. Elijah says, how exactly do we get clients, students, and how will they be the ones to select tutors of their choice? Or will this be done by AMOE? Okay, um, so like I said at the beginning, if you remember, as, as tutors, you're responsible for the students that will come on the platform. So all of your efforts will sit on the effort, uh, on the, on, on, will sit on the activities of, of the general activities AMOE is doing to build the brand as a whole. So yes, you, you, once you have your school on the platform, it's possible that the students will find your resource useful, perhaps based on the rating or feedback some other students have dropped and will request to, um, to access and subscribe to it. But also within your network at the moment, you can onboard students you, you, you do not have, you, you no longer have, 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 have access to because of um, the issue of not having the technology to support them. So you, they can have access to the courses you've created. You, you of course share the resources with them or their parents. They interact with it and of course they, they can pay and all of that is completely managed without having to worry about how all of that works. So the focus is at, at the moment, I would say primarily what you have to do is engage parents and students, bring them on the platform. And uh, of course the general marketing activity being performed at AMOE will consolidate that effort to ensure you can continue to grow your student base. Another interesting question from Anonymous. Am I to come up with content or AMOE does? Yeah, two things. Um, like I said, we have this book that is ever growing. Yes, as educators, I'm, some of us are comfortable writing content. We're going to definitely work with you. If you do not write content, you most likely will. We're going to, we're, you're, going to get, you're going to be trained on how to. We have a, a large collection, a living library, like we like to call it at AMOE, of resources that your students can interact with currently. Like I said, we have the monthly STEM plus challenge where students go through our resources, take a challenge, and they are able to win prizes at the end of the month, month on month, alongside the internship that, um, that we organize. A lot of these resources is available at no cost at the moment. So without creating any resource, you can take advantage of those um, resources we've created um, to bring students on board and, and start teaching. But we expect that you most likely would have um, unique resources or I'll say professional course or maybe a particular class that you've created for yourself using the, 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 the method, remember, concept-based learning and project-based learning, which we will come to understand over the next six, over the next seven weeks, that's what we have left, um, to create our resources. And all of this is proprietary, basically it's, it's enclosed and only students that should have access to it will have access to it. And of course you are able to charge and set a fee for the resources you've created. Just to rephrase that, yes, you, you have access to free resources, or you will need to create resources as well that you can then monetize and, of course, attract more students and parents to your own unique school. All right, thank you, Shola. Um, can I register an organization and not worry about conflict of interest? Okay, um, um, if I understand um, what you mean by an organization, definitely as an, are, are welcome. So it's more we're, we're happy to host um, even the largest organization in the world and who, who is interested in teaching and learning, talent development and talent placement. So every, everyone is welcome from individuals, tutors, freelance and entities who are looking to uh, provide skill development for, for the organization. So if you own a school currently, yes, you are welcome and we can further work with you to help. That, 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 that would require some slight, uh, slight variation. It does not negate what you have currently, but you definitely would need a lot more support 
to be able to onboard perhaps the number of students you have within your organization or your existing school. So yes, it's possible that we are able to help you migrate um, or manage your unique. So within your school, you can have multiple courses or multiple classes and manage them separately. You will get support to be able to do that as well. All right. Um, the next question is a bifold. I know you spoke extensively about this, but, but I would appreciate if you shed more light on this. Can I be a tutor for Amoye? What is the nature of the remuneration? Will I be paid per hour? Okay, thanks for that again. So um, yes, you can be a tutor. Everyone is welcome on the platform. Um, Amoye, based on, of course, from, from the franchise program, is not paying tutors. So the payment is going to come from the fees that the students pay. What we've done as an organization is to eliminate barriers to entry for you. So instead of paying an upfront fee to be able to access our technology, to be able to access this research back resource that we are, we are currently developing and will continue to develop. All, all of that is currently being offset and definitely you have access to it right now and, and you, can, you can access all of that right, right away. Um, so the fees definitely, like I said earlier on, is going to come from the, from the fees that the parents or your, your students pay to access the resources or students who have access to your school on the platform. Toby, you said buy food. I hope I've answered that question. I, I thought I mixed it up at some point. I uh, know, yes, yes, you have, you have, you have perfectly answered the okay, question. Great. So the next one currently on my list is, um, Chris wants to know if I'm away at an office in Lagos and where it is located. Yes, we have an office in Lagos. We are based in Ikeja and we have operations in three countries currently in the, in the US, in the Bermuda, and of course in Nigeria, like we have. Currently, um, we have also a data science internship program um, where we have over 1,200 students from across Africa running, run, run, running the internship program. Um, we're currently in, in the stage, in the third stage of the internship. Um, and at the end of the internship, the participants, of course, will have a chance um, to, to so of course, top participant has have a chance to become gainfully employed um, at, uh, with the Amoye AI Labs. But that, that's an aside. A lot, a lot, a lot is happening in different shapes and sizes. All of this effort is, is ongoing, and um, of course, we invite everyone to come on board and take advantage of this amazing platform that we are putting together. Thank you, Shola. Here is one regarding the the, the nature of the webinar. Is it webinar daily? No, so we definitely we are very conscious about perhaps the data cost on you. The webinars are not daily. And um, I can say over the next two months free training that we've put together, you only would have you have no more than four webinars. You're going to have no more than four webinars. So between three and four, between now and the end of the program. And this is important to be able to close all the learnings that you will do within as individuals by taking the courses we have available you of course you'd have tasks and activities that you're going to complete during the process and of course the interaction that would happen within the whatsapp community so there's a reason why we put together a whatsapp community so we're not taking you too far away from your comfort zone and of course it's easy for you to ask quick questions and get answers immediately when and where you need them okay so please could you share more light about who our learning audience is so again, um, every tutor is at will to choose who their audience is. As a tutor, um, of course, you, 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 you perhaps have some pool of students you're working with already. That might be a way to influence. That might, that might inform the resources or courses you're interested in on the platform or the ones you're interested in, in creating. Or if you have competence within a particular concept or domain, and you're creating resources around that or pulling existing resources together to speak to that concept um, or, or, or that knowledge area, then all of that is all of that is possible and available as, as well. Okay. So the next question here is, I just want to know if Amoye will give us materials and a curriculum to work with. And also, when we start tutoring, how are we going to get paid? Okay, um, I, I answered this earlier on. So payment was going to come from the money, as in the remuneration is going, going to come from the fees paid by parents who are either paying for their kids or individuals, think of it as professionals who are interested in your resource and have paid to access it. So basically for anyone to have, have access to your own school that is wrapped around the resources you have, you need to grant access and they will, be, they will pay to access the resource interact with it, you define 
the duration of access. If you want them to have access for a week, for a month, or you have a collection of resources and you want them to have access to it over over a, over a three month period, I would say for, for schools, you can say students should have access to this resource over an academic session. So all of that is built in and it's flexible to fit your own unique need. So yes, it's flexible and built to, to, to fit your unique to, 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 to fit your unique need. All right, thank you so much, Ella. Now here's another, who brings the students? Are there students readily available for tutors? No, their students are not ready. We have students on the platform already. Remember, we, we have we have a STEM plus challenge and um, we, we have a collection of school existing um, activities that are ongoing. For students, you are responsible for students as much as we are responsible for it. So it's not we're, we're not bringing the students to you. You're responsible for bringing the students while we provide the platform for you to thrive and do what you want to do best. Providing tra skills training and free resources to complement what you are creating. Or or, or, or or help um, get started um, your own school um, within our within our platform. What we also do is a shared responsibility that as as a larger umbrella, we are promoting and increase um, building the brand recognition. So that if you're speaking with a parent about using a new technology or platform called Amoye, they already understand and they are happy to affiliate because they understand the quality of resources that they will find on the platform and how seamless and easy it is to use the resources based on either the, the referrals or recommendation they've received in the past or their knowledge or experience um, they, they, they've gained as well from either interacting or seeing people use the resource. So it's a shared responsibility. You're responsible for bringing your students, but we have a responsibility for promoting the brand and the platform so that students basically are drawn to you Parents are drawn to you, and of course, by, for when students basically come to the platform and they see your resource useful and viable, they can use that for their for, for their use and get in touch with you to pay for it and use as well. Okay, so here's one from Paul. Subjects like mathematics can't be taught without working it for the students to see. How does Amoe support this? Okay, interesting. I like that particular question. Um, so I I believe mathematics can be taught and. Um, in this age and time, teaching is moving away from understanding facts. By saying mathematics can, cannot be thought, it means um, as much as it's essential that students have factual knowledge of what mathematics means, it is even more important in this age and time that students see how it applies in the real life. And I'll give a good example for mathematics. A good example I'm, I like giving is around pi. If you speak to a student about what pi is, what comes to mind is the circumference or the diameter of a circle, 2 pi r and all of that. And Anytime you're teaching mathematics and anything related to pi or anything related to a circle, that is when pi comes to mind. But pi is applicable in, 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 a, in a more broad and general context. And ensuring that your students are able to learn this, they not necessarily hold on to what pi is and the value, which common um, is, is usually given in, in our questions, but to see how this applies in the real life and where they can use it in different ways to solve problems. Today, the, the, the world of work does not accommodate people who can just regurgitate facts. It only um, welcomes people who, have, who can think critically, apply what they have to solve unique problems that continue to contend with us. COVID is unprecedented, but we all have to find a solution. And this is what the world looks like going forward. So go, going back to Pi, Pi for me, from my understanding is, if you look at the diameter or circumference, the circumference of a circle, irrespective of the size, the ratio comes back down to 3.14, right? So it, it, it changes that completely. If I'm telling my students, um, pi, this is how it applies. It's, it's about finding, the, if, you, if you're trying to, if, you, if you're finding the diameter, the circumference of a circle at, at irrespective of its size, this applies. And of course the ratio is this. It means irrespective of what they are doing, if they are in, if they are somewhere in the bush and they want to find um, a problem has to, uh, um, comes up around circles, it's easy to recall this fact that you've thought and they can see how it applies and they can apply it as against only remembering what 3.14 is. And um, of course, it does not apply or transfer in that context. And those are some of the frustrations we, encourage, or we, we, we discover in class where we teach a concept in the previous week, we come back a week or two later expecting that students can transfer but what they only what they've done is they know the facts, but they do not understand at that deep level for them to be able to effectively transfer and use it in unique ways. 
all of this is possible on the platform. Remember I said we have a platform that fosters communication and interaction within students. And the concept we are promoting, which you will be taught around concept and using, using project-based learning and concept-based learning basically helps you as educators move from being focused on, not necessarily as educators, the current, the, the way education currently is structured, the, the extensive emphasis on, on, on knowledge, which is very important because without knowledge, you really cannot build understanding. But ensuring students move away from just knowing what 3.14 is to seeing how it applies, but also being able to apply it in unique ways, irrespective of the situation. That's our joy as educators. That is what we want to do. Amoy is definitely building a platform that supports this activity and would help us achieve great results. Okay. Um, will tutors be giving a, a referral link to invite students? Yes, very good question. Um, so students can come in. So if, if they come in, they, they, you would have a direct access to either your course or your school. So students have, a, have, 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 have access to it. So it's, it's, a, it's a link that students can use to find you directly. So remember, it's a big community of people doing, doing different things. Students can find your resources directly or using the, um, when, when they come to the platform, using the link you provided or by exploring the platform, they can interact and find the resources you've, you've put together as well. Okay, um, Shala, could you please um, throw more insights as to how, how they can register students on the platform? Is there an ID? There's a bit of a concern as regards that. Yeah, so all of that will be simplified. Um, we'll share all of that along. Uh, uh, we'll share all of that along the way. Um, so students will be able to create account. The, the process might be similar. Um, for minors, parents or guardians are able to set up accounts for their kids. So notifications and emails basically go through that channel. But the process is similar to what you have currently. But their role is definitely going to be different. Remember what I said. There are different rules available on the platform. And of course, the rules come with different privileges and the actions and activities you can perform. For us as tutors, all of that will be definite. All of that will, 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 will sort and will, will, will sort all of this out over the period, over this training period. And by the end of the program, when we are setting up your school, you have all of the rights and privileges to be able to manage your students, to be able to manage your school. And of course, have people access these resources. Students definitely will have their accounts which directly into your resources. And um, of course, using the search engine that's available at the top of the screen or, or from our own page, they can search using your name as well. And by searching directly using your name, they will be able to access the resources you've put together. All right, thank you so much, Ella. Yes, yeah, so can someone or anyone who did not officially apply to Amoye's franchise program join the platform and start teaching yes so the platform is open and welcome to everyone unfortunately because this round of training has started already what i would recommend is wait for the next round of training for those who are interested it's this is going to be an ongoing training um, we'll continue to um, help people come on board and use the platform but at the moment it's important that people understand and go through this journey of uh, basically of course learning how to use the platform learning the best practices to actually use technology in this age and time, know how to actually engage parents um, for success if you're trying to talk, talk, talk to them about um, the, the practices. Importantly, helping students prepare for the world of work, not, um, not the way we've always known it, where understand deep understanding of concepts and a general way for them to apply this concept um, takes precedence basically over just um, having the knowledge of fact. Knowledge is available everywhere, everyone with their phones can click within, within a single, within a few clicks can, can access every resource. So it's not a superpower every, anymore to know certain things without being able to critically think about the facts that you have and find ways to apply them. So that's what we want. That's what the platform is promoting and that is what we're going to do together. Okay, so um, does this involve the nursery section as well? Or can, can a teacher or a tutor take a subject that is that deals with people in in, in the nursery group in the nursery class yeah, so yeah so it, it, again they, they, they might need some extra help which we are going to explore during the training as well um for those who are not comfortable like when you say nursery nursery means um they are i would say less than that's pre pre primary for between three to five years um so it depends on how comfortable they have with technology but all of that will be, will be taught as well if they're using the platform you can have resources where at the other end like we have at the moment they have their parents who are working with them to be able to access your resource right 
So it might not be a self, um, it might not be something they are doing themselves, but then you've created this amazing resource that student that would guide parents to, to help their students have this amazing experience. So all of that is possible. So irrespective of their age, the platform definitely will support what you're what, what you're trying to what you're trying to do, and the, the, the your your group of students that you, you that you serve. Okay. Um. Is there a minimum amount of student that you must have in a class enrolled? before starting the particular course? No, there's no minimum. So you can start right away. Once you have a course or you have a few students, you can start right away with one and over a period of time, continue to grow grow your students, which is why we, we eliminated the barrier. There's really no cost. You, once, once you complete the training, before the, before the end of the training, actually, of course, there are a couple of tasks we would expect you started in, interacting and engaging with your community. Um, by, by, by the end of it, if you have a student, you can get started with that. Once you've created a resource, remember I said you are able to set the, the entry, the start and the exit time for these resources. So you can have students come in at different times to, to interact with the same resource, or you can actually batch six students together and say you start at this point and exit together at this point. Okay, when students or users find your course, can they access it freely or you can add a price tag to the course content you create? So, of course, it, it depends on what you've said for the course. There are, there are free resources on the platform like we, like we provide, which you would have access to. But for your resource, if it's free, perhaps you want some free resources to, for students to interact and, and, and use. Great, as in it's, 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 it's free and openly available. But if you have resources that you, that you require people to pay before they access it, definitely people will have to pay before they access it. So no resources are available um out of the rules you said so you are you have the liberty to define these rules in terms of how the resources are at, access what the fees are and and who has access to it and if you search as well you can do that currently the resources are not searchable you can you will not find them online so you can also trust and be sure that the effort and you put into creating these resources no one is going to plagiarize and pick it up somewhere on the internet and create their own. If anyone is doing, if, if, if anyone has access to it, it's only those you've granted access to, um, you've, you've granted access to this resource you've put together. Thank you so much, Shala. That was really insightful. It looks like we've covered a lot of questions and we are past our time already. Is there anything you'd like to say before you final wrap up? Okay. Um, again, uh, excited to get this started. Um, this 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 has been this has been this thought has been on for a while, and we're we're, we're excited to see um, the response we're receiving from teachers who are excited and who are beginning to believe in this idea that um, across Africa, like like we say, um, um, what's it called? While opportunities might not be evenly distributed, talent is, and what students need basically is the right support and environment to be able to access quality resources that will then show as a whole, we can build the Africa of our dream. The problems we want to solve is not going to be solved by anyone. And it starts by ensuring um, that we, we have the right skills and competencies to do that. No system of education can rise above the quality of its teachers. So your role in all of this is rather essential and it's the reason we're starting off with you and we are super committed to ensuring that you have the right support to make this work and we're happy to, to to work with you all the way thank you for joining us once again and um please stay in touch let's let's do this together awesome thank you thanks again Shola. thank you everyone we appreciate you for being here thanks for for joining us today and we'll see you another time bye <laughs>